Hey there, so in this video I wanted to cover something that is desirable for 99% of the people that I speak with on a daily basis. Um, at the moment we speak on average to 25 to 30 business owners on a weekly basis. Mainly in the UK and Ireland, mainly people who are high performing gym owners. And they get to a certain level where their time is maxed out, their knowledge is maxed out. Yes, the gym is profitable. Yes, the business as a whole is profitable, it's in a good place, but they don't know how to grow the business while working less. They don't know what that state looks like. They don't know how the business actually works at that level. And the main thing um, that we like to focus on outside of taking work off your hands is putting the right structure in place. So I wanna give you a quick look in this video at the ideal scenario and show you what we've built for an example client how it works, how it flows, and obviously how we, we add tons of revenue to businesses, but also what is the dream state in terms of team setup. So if we look at team setup and where you want to, to go, everyone focuses on their coaching product. Everyone wants to have the best coaches, the best coaching structure, the best programming to give their clients the best experience. So naturally, they come to this side of the business and they focus all their effort on hiring high-performing coaches, getting the right structure, leadership meetings, programming, all of this kind of stuff, right? And they meet meticulously and plan meticulously around this topic. But what they neglect is they usually have an accountant outside the business and then this marketing, sales, calls, content, all of this just gets bundled up into one person, one job, one expectation. And usually all of this here ends up falling on the business owner. So the vast majority of people that I speak to who own gyms are not marketers by trade. They know how to market their product. They know, they understand their product, I should say. And they know what goes into it. And they portray the results that their product, that, that their product gets people. But ultimately, they're not marketers. Ultimately, they're not people who understand the funnel, understand what metrics and even track the metrics that are important to overall success. So when you look at a gym that's doing 30, 35, 40,000, what you now need to start looking at is how does the structure not only fulfill for the clients, but also fulfill the marketing and sales purposes of the business? And that removes a huge bottleneck for the business owner. So you're now looking at a structure where in red you've got outside sources, but maybe it's internal also, but you're working with someone who drives the strategy, who then drives a marketing team, which feed, which gets feedback from the head coaches, which gets feedback from the accountant in terms of what's you know feasible in terms of marketing spend, etc. And then all of this information is readily available for the business owner to make the best decisions possible. So if we go back to the conversion flow. If we go up here for a sec, like what you're trying to build from a marketing and sales purpose is on the left here, you wanna build a really decent, optimized and diversified flow of traffic between reactivation, organic, both forms of organic outreach and inbound, paid social, paid search. You wanna have offers for those. You wanna have a link to a calendar um, where people can take direct action themselves, but you wanna have a really efficient follow-up process what I see a lot of business owners get stuck with is that they are actually doing all of this. They're doing it manually. And the, what's the right word? And the motivation towards calling leads when the business is already pretty comfortable can be very, very hard to muster up. You know, is it that enticing to call everyone from 60 days ago who didn't sign up? when you already have, you know, maybe you have a steady flow of leads, but you know that there's a lot of customers ready there waiting and they're low hanging fruit. If this is someone's core responsibility every day and they're trained to do so, they're a trained salesperson, they're gonna convert at a higher rate, they're gonna take more consistent action and they're not gonna be afraid to do those boring and menial tasks that maybe you don't wanna do. So if we go down, I wanna show you Urban Fitness, who are a longstanding client of ours in, in Dublin. And what we do for them is we generate traffic through Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, um, and also email. We then drive it to both dedicated landing pages and to Facebook lead forms. You're probably familiar with these. 
Once they are then captured, they then go into a system, a CRM that supports the business where they can see the various leads progress through the various stages of the customer journey so that the business owner can spend time looking at data to make decisions rather than stuck in the doing. We then have placed a trained setter who is at this point converting it in and around 30%. But this trained setter will call the leads in an efficient manner, in a really time efficient manner, will book them in on the calendar for the consultation in this case, and will convert at a higher rate typically than the business owner and free up that time. Supporting the setter is the automations that we build. So the email, the SMS automations that make it easy to for the setter to focus on calling the leads. So now we've gone so far as to remove the business owner from calling the leads and the setter from actually sending manual follow-ups by automating that through our CRM. And what you get then get is this flywheel, this system, if we zoom out a little bit more. So we now have a system from traffic to revenue, taking traffic, capturing that traffic, quantifying it and measuring it in a system, having a really efficient uh, selling process on that, which is highly reliant on, which is highly focused, I should say, and having the setter spend all of their time dedicated to calling leads, past leads, past customers, new leads. So all their time is dedicated towards giving really personalized touch points. And all of the manual boring follow-up is done via automations based on where the customer is at in that journey. Are they at the booking stage? Did they not show up for their appointment? And so on and so forth. And what you now get is this very, very simple framework where you're putting in, let's say, 100 euros on this side and you're pulling out a thousand euros. So the next time you cycle, recycle your hundred euros that comes from your profit, you're putting it in here. And essentially you're taking, you're creaming your profit off the top. You're then recycling that back into more traffic and the system then takes care of itself. And this is the big differentiator for us as a business. This is why we've been able to see such success. And this is why we're really catering towards the higher end of the market, the people who really want to achieve big things, the people who want to own multiple locations, the people who want to have seven figure fitness businesses and do less work. That is the, the whole crux of this. Everyone in the fitness industry wants to be working, you know, is has this perception that you need to be working 14 hours a day, that you need to be doing these crazy long shifts, that you need to be getting a thousand leads per month. All this crazy stuff that really seriously you, you don't need. If you've got an efficient system that can take 30 leads per month and convert at 50% and get 15 high paying customers at two, three, 400 euros per month or 400 euros on the front end, that's a business that then spits out six, seven K in new recurring revenue on top of what's already there, which should be 40, 50 um, and so on. So for you to understand this, you need to really identify and really accept the fact that you can't do everything in the day. And you need to understand where is the bottleneck in your process. If you look at this process within your business right now, are you getting adequate traffic? How many people are you getting in front of on a daily basis and have you tracked this? How are you capturing that? How much of this traffic and potential um, attention are you capturing and getting in the form of details, name, email, phone number? How are you then tracking that? Do you have a system in place? Do you then have an efficient process for calling those leads? And do you have an efficient process for calling those leads consistently? Following on from that, do you have a system that supports those calls? that follows up on those calls. So it's not just isolated touch points. And then do you have an efficient way of converting that these into revenue? So are your setters, are your automations geared towards making sure that you're converting at the highest rate possible? And as a, an allocator, which is what a business owner is, you're allocating your resources, your money, your time, your staff, everything like that, even your timetable, how many classes you do, what capacity you have. All you're doing every day is allocating. Are you allocating an adequate enough amount of revenue back into the start of this process to make sure that you can continue to see success? And just because you put in a hundred and taken out a thousand that you're not resting on your laurels. And just because you're putting in a hundred and not seeing this instantaneously, do you have the efficient process to convert over time? Just because a lead isn't converting in 24 hours, that's not the lead's fault. It's your fault for not being present enough in their life. So 
this is what we've done and let's take urban fitness for example they now have a completely hands-off sales process where from the person finding out about the gym to actually physically arriving for their consultation, we handle absolutely every part of that process. So I hope you found this video useful. If I'm to t give you three things to take away from this, look at diversifying your traffic, look at having a system to track this, and look at training someone to be a dedicated setter who has sales acumen, who can take this off your hands and convert actually at a higher rate, which allows you then to stand back as we're doing here and look at the process from a bird's eye view with all of the metrics in hand and say, okay, well, Facebook combined with a lead form, combined with a call within one hour and combined with a sequence that, that comprises of three SMSs and four emails in seven days, gets us the highest return. So that's where we're going to allocate as much as our resources the next time that we decide to recycle this back in. So now you as a business owner, you're leveling up not only your coaching team, you're leveling up not only your business, but you're also future proofing it and taking back time. All this extra money is no good if it just means that you've got to work more. So that would be my one takeaway from today. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next one. Over the next week or two, we're going to be releasing our biggest training to date is how to make how to clear 500k per year with your fitness business while working less and the stipulation being working less really really important for me so hope you enjoyed this video and speak to you guys soon